asked, why do you think a lot of millennials have a favorable view of socialism and Marxism, and do you think they understand what it is? Why do I think a lot of millennials have a favorable view of socialism and Marxism, and do I understand what it is? I will answer that question for you. I will answer that question for you. Why do a number of millennials have a favorable view of socialism and Marxism? Very easy. Very easy answer to your question. We have been told for decades and decades in the United States that we cannot do what a lot of other countries in the world do because if we do it, that's socialism or that's Marxism. People say, hey, I don't like the fact that I have to pay, you know, uh, you know, so much money out of my paycheck and go to an insurance company that tries to rip me off. Why doesn't the government just give me health care? Because you can't do that. Well, that's socialism. Hey, you know, I don't like being in student debt for my whole life, you know, and why can't the government just give me education? Can't do that. It's socialism. You know, I don't like the fact that when I work at a coffee shop and sweat and I get paid barely anything, I, 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 shouldn't they raise the minimum wage? Can't do that. That's socialism, right? Well, hey, you know, I don't like the fact that, that big corporations pay barely any taxes, but I have to pay taxes. That's not fair. I mean, why, why not tax Amazon and, and Exxon Mobil and make them pay their fair share? Can't do that. That's socialism. So millennials having heard this their whole life and facing an economic future that is much harder than what their parents' generation faced, have decided to take on this kind of cynical attitude. Fine. I'm a socialist then. Fine. Fine. I'm a socialist. I don't like paying student debt. And if that makes me a socialist, fine, Dad. I'm a socialist. Deal with it. And they're justified in their sentiments. That is why young people in the United States like socialism, is because stupid people have been telling us for years that we can't have things that in other countries are taken for granted because that's socialism. And so they're like, fine, I'm a socialist. I guess I'm a socialist, Dad. What if I have to? I guess I'm a socialist. I'm a socialist. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. I will, I, I will check out this wandering earth. I'll Google it. Thank you. Thank you, Lincolnite. But yeah, that's what it's about. And do they actually understand what it is? No. And Bernie Sanders doesn't advocate what it actually is. Bernie Sanders is, is advocating a more, more, a more egalitarian Keynesian welfare state. He doesn't want the workers to control the means of production. He doesn't want a government-run economy. He's made that abundantly clear. Bernie Sanders is, and he's actually made statements that are interesting. He said, I'm a democratic socialist, not a socialist. You know, I mean... Bernie Sanders, his program, the central planks of his program, free health care, free college, that's, that's, that, would make us, that would make us France. That would make us Norway. That would make us Sweden. That would make us Germany. And those are all capitalist countries. Those are all very capitalist countries. You know, it is a repudiation of Milton Friedman. It is a repudiation of Ayn Rand. It is a repudiation of, oh, what's that guy? Uh, what is that guy, the, the Federal Reserve guy, Alan Greenspan. It's a repudiation of economic neoliberalism. It is saying this notion that the state, you know, you know, and profits should always come first and the state should never give anybody anything. It, it's a repudiation of that, and it's good, and it's necessary. Do they actually understand what socialism is? Most of them don't, right? and they should. They should understand what it is. And that's what I hope to accomplish. I hope that my think tank... You know, and the other people that form it, not just me. I hope that when we establish the Center for Political Innovation, we can take huge strides in getting Americans to actually understand what socialism is. To actually understand that if you have the state organized and control the means of production, and if you have an economy that functions for the benefit of the people and not profits, it can be great. Great things can happen. We don't have to look backward. There is no limit to growth. There's only a limit to profits. We need a government of action to fight for working families. 